Ah, little window open. You know what? God, that's a real bad screen again. Yeah, got to use that old bugger again. Fashion. My take on fashion. You know, what do you have to ask about fashion? I mean, it's strange, somewhat deranged. You've got youngsters, kids, little wee eyes near eyes of the pigeons, just come out of their diapers and they want to grow beards. I mean, you go down to these places and here they are, measurely minding their own. They've got their trousers up to their bloody arses, or their arses dangling out of their bloody pants. I mean, can they not afford decent clothing because they look like bloody penguins in a constipation match? You know, and then you got those Oompa Loompa types. I'll talk more about them in another show. Not today, though. But yeah, are they trying to be the Oompa Loompa types? Are they literally trying to be the uh, Oriental type? I am from China. I got a little pudding on my head and I'm going to chop you to pieces. Why not ask that question? Because it looks damn right stupid. No, but I think, oh, I look real cool, mate. Hey, look at me, I'm my best one around, mate, because I got my little dumpling on me head. And then me trousers up me ankles. And, well, who knows what else dangling out. But, yeah, you know, you go to these nightclubs and you got these, these women. I mean, there's a good classic. Classic women. What do they do? They're wearing practically their underwear only, and they think they look cool. Well, yeah, they may do in their eyes, but they don't. And it must get bloody cold in a bloody winter. I mean, God, they may just go around butt naked. You know, they're practically wearing nothing, so why bother wearing in the first place? Ladies fashion, hold the press. No niggers, no thongs, but a belt. Showing it all, but that's a belt. That is how fashion that I can see is going to happen. That would not surprise me in the slightest. You know, and, well, you know, even foreigners are much better. Some of the foreigners that dress in some of their weirdest, weirdest stuff, I mean, they look like bloody tangerines. They're wearing all this orange gear. Padded out here, padded out there. With these funny little tattoos in Chinese, did I not realise that some of those Chinese saying, I am gay, or, look at me, I'm a fuck up. That might work, but they think, hey man, it looks cool with my, hey, look at that, look at that, whoa, that's a big, good piece of Chinese saying, I'm the man. It says, no, you are a pigeon just shitting on the floor. That's what it says, it just says, in tattoo Chinese, pigeon shit. So, you walk around thinking you're looking cool with pigeon shit tat all over your arm. One wonders why they don't simply just understand Chinese. You know, it's not hard. Hey man, anyone can speak Chinese. Especially if you have an Indian takeaway. That would work. But then you've got those young ones. The latest, you know, it, it, the latest is, um, they like the beards. You know, they're wee high, knee high pigeons. You know, they've got no face, no muscle, and they've got these little beards. And they think they look, and I wouldn't mind, do they not know how to trim the bloody things? Cat weasel, eat your heart out. Hey, no, it's a student. My God, not another student. Yeah, another student. Knee eye to a pigeon with a beard, untrained. I'm surprised the latest trend ain't bald head and a goatee with the old uh, and all bars. Hey man, that might look real cool. If you're deranged, like me. But yeah, you know, I thought I would have put my take on that because I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Fashion, and I'm gonna be doing this in depth, is a weird, deranged thing. Have we suddenly lost our marbles? Or should we just dress like marbles? That might look more cool these days. I got a pin through my nose. That was trend way back in the day. Now it ain't a pin in the nose. It's a cogwheel. If it ain't a cogwheel, it's hell knows what with dog shit tattooed across their forehead because they think it looks cool. Anyway, I'm going to have to go soon. I just want to share that little bout of insanity out to everybody. 
because, hey, I do that kind of things. Hey, man, I drive a bus. Oh, bloody day. Hey, ho. Maybe not, or not. Or then or two. There you are. See, I'm speaking Chinese myself. Now, there you go. That's the way I'm. That's trendy fashion. Mustn't forget my ankle. One leg up. One leg down. Walking with a lot, lot of angle because my trousers are holding me down too much because I need to trip it over them because my bloody trousers are dangling down. But I wanted to be looking fashionable with my beard saying I'm Wurzel Gummidge. Tell you what, go to a field, put a load of, um, what do they call that stuff? Cool. And then you'll really look the part with your bleeding, untangled beard with your no face. Little boy with beards don't look right. But that's my opinion, but I'm not going to say that because it looks quite funny, really, when you look at it that way. But who knows what's next? Upside down glasses? Hmm. We'll see. Till then, or not, bye.